Coming up on CARE 11 News at 10. It is time we all stood up and spoke against that kind of reckless speech and behavior. The president has some harsh words about the public airways. Tonight at 10, we'll tell you who's talking back. Also, word from the White House, the death toll in Oklahoma could top 200. And as the FBI tracks the second suspect connected to the bombing, we'll introduce you to members of Minnesota's militia. Then it's off to the races in Out of This World Buggies. Watch CARE 11 News tonight at 10. Investigators find specific evidence linking Timothy McVeigh to the bombing in Oklahoma City. I'm Paul Majors. Coming up tonight at 10 on CARE 11 News, we'll tell you what they found. Plus, a court decision today turned those inline wheels for your feet into vehicles for the street. Also, after 17 years, the Unabomber strikes again. Investigators say he is now leaving obvious clues. Then the saying goes, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Nope, this one just found a house. Stay tuned for CARE 11 News at 10. Tonight on CARE 11 News at 5, could the alternate jury pool in the O.J. Simpson case get a little smaller? We'll tell you at 5. Plus, a moment of silence today as the nation remembers the one-week anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing. We'll have details. Then, protesters stage a death march in downtown St. Paul. Target, welfare reform. And we'll have a close encounter of the third kind, a house that's really out of this world. See you at 5. I'm Paul Majors, coming up on CARE 11 News tonight at 10. An Oklahoma State trooper stopped him for a traffic violation and netted the prime suspect in the Oklahoma City bombing. Tonight, that trooper tells his story. Plus, could the same people responsible for the Oklahoma bombing have been planning a second attack in Minneapolis? And tough questions for doctors after an accident at the U. Then you'll see life on the street through the eyes of a female police officer. Join us tonight at 10. I'm Pat Miles. Today on CARE 11 News at 5, we'll tell you about a major development in the Kabila Shabazz case. Plus, the prime suspect in the Oklahoma City bombing has his day in court. Also, you'll see a Minnesota company put a new spin on a bicycle built for two. Then in family care, these 10-year-olds are all scrubbed up and ready for surgery. I'll tell you why, coming up. And how about a new way to feed your furry little friend? We'll show you a bakery that's gone to the dock. We'll see you at 5. Coming up today on CARE 11 News at 5, a local elementary school exercise raises some questions. Was it a case of child abuse or a cultural misunderstanding? Also, charges of excessive force out of Cincinnati have local police officers asking, when does police force become police brutality? Plus, just in time for the warm weather, how to tune up your bicycle. Then, should Betty Rubble be a vitamin? Cast your vote today at 5. I'm Paul Majors, coming up on CARE 11 News at 10. Here with the 911 operators heard the day of the explosion in Oklahoma City. Also, a security controversy at the Minneapolis Federal Courthouse, where after the Oklahoma bombing, barriers put up are mysteriously gone. And after missing last year's NBA playoffs to play with the boys of summer, Air Jordan has landed in Charlotte for game one. At 10, we'll show you how he did. Then, who has the best handwriting in the country? We'll show you tonight on CARE 11 News at 10. Coming up at 10. I definitely want to do it. And you definitely, I mean, you approach me about it. This is not an idle kind no, of No, I definitely want to do it. Here are the murder for hire plan of Kabila Shabazz. Then, a special CARE 11 News investigation. Who just did your taxes? You just gave that person your most private financial information, and you may have given it to a convicted felon. Also, an extension deadline for the Winnipeg Jets will have details at 10. Plus, a daring rescue for a trumpeter swan. We'll see you at 10. I'm Paul Majors, coming up on CARE 11 News at 10. How far would you go to show someone your love? Tonight, you'll meet a man whose proposal flies higher than all others. Also, Minneapolis City Hall investigates allegations fire department union leaders are picnicking and drinking on city time. And after looking through thousands of invoices, you may be unpleasantly surprised where some of your tax dollars are being spent. After 306 consecutive home games, the Twins are closing in on a home attendance record. But it's not a record they want to break. I'll tell you why at 10. Coming up at 5, the search for victims in the Oklahoma City bombing could be called off tonight. Plus, a team of grief counselors here at Webster Elementary in North St. Paul to deal with the tragic deaths of two students. Then in family care, I'll show you some 10-year-old hotel chefs and a dozen of their other classmates who took on some pretty big jobs today. Plus, we'll have pet care for your furry friends at 5. Then see Japan's latest weapon in the battle against bad breath. We'll see you at 5. 
I'm Paul Majors, coming up tonight on CARE 11 News at 10. How would you feel if you were arrested for looking like one of America's most wanted men? It's nerve-wracking. It's, uh, you know, scary experience. His friends at work told him he looked a lot like John Doe number 2. And those looks got him arrested and his car towed. Then, in the CARE 11 News Extra, they promised change. But did they keep their word? We'll go back in the track and tell you what we found in the dumpsters this time. Also, a lesson in where not to park your car. CARE 11 News at 10 is next. I'm Paul Major. Today on CARE 11 News at 5, has construction on I-94 given you traffic problems before? Well, today at 5 o'clock, we'll tip you off to some new plans that should help you avoid traffic problems this weekend. What are you going to do now that the kids are out of school for the summer? Take them camping. I'll show you the latest trends coming up in family care. Also, a Minneapolis community protests in a last-ditch effort to save their neighborhood post office. Plus, some of your favorite classic comic strip characters will be taking a few licks. I'll tell you why today at 5. An early afternoon murder scene in a Twin City suburb leaves police looking for clues and suspects. We'll have the latest tonight. Then, your first instinct is anger because you know you didn't do this. A day after, police thought he might be John Doe number two. Mike Schneider's feelings start to sour. Plus, a special CARE 11 news investigation. Do you use a cell phone or a cordless phone? If so, you'd better be careful. Thousands of Minnesotans may be eavesdropping on your conversation. And if you did something like this tonight, you'll be able to do it again tomorrow. We'll have the forecast tonight at 10. Tonight at 10, Mary Rose Mioli and her son have been missing from the Twin Cities area for about three weeks. I'm Paul Majors. Tonight at 10, we'll tell you how a search has led officials to her son almost seven states away. And corporate spies could be stealing your company's most important secrets. A special CARE 11 news investigation reveals how. Then, before you make driving plans for the weekend, find out about a freeway shutdown that might slow down your travel. Also, the Jets could be on final approach. We'll have the latest from Winnipeg tonight at 10. Good afternoon, I'm Paul Majors. Coming up on CARE 11 News at 5, a key figure heads to the state capitol to try to land the Winnipeg Jets from Minnesota. We'll tell you who would have the latest at 5. Then, a major manufacturer agrees this child's toy is not safe. If you bought one, we'll tell you how to take it back. And you won't have to leave Minnesota to get to Boston. We'll just have to go to Mankato. Plus, some local kids get to live a dream and sing back up for Barney. We'll see you at 5.